What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be a walkthrough guide using Photoshop on how to render 3D objects from 2D images and then animate them and turn them into NFTs. If that sounds good, please do stick around. Everyone who's new, go ahead and follow me on social media. Sub to the channel, bell to be notified on all future content. Make sure you guys pound the thumbs up on this one and let's get into today's content. Okay guys, today we're going to be working in Photoshop. Uh, PS5 is the edition I'm using. Some of the features and um, things you can do are a little bit more advanced than the new cloud version. So if you have that, uh, just a couple slight differences. And if you guys want, you can also render even more in-depth and detailed 3D objects for free using the Blender software. Um, so we're going to go into just the very basics of making a 3D object. And um, this will get you started. However, there are much more in-depth tutorials on the Photoshop website. And you can find even more detailed stuff about 3D rendering on Blender. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started first thing we want to do is to get a canvas that we're going to work on. So for us, let's start a new file. I am going to put it into pixels and we're going to just choose a nice square shape, something like 600 by 600. You guys can choose whatever is appropriate for you and make sure all of your settings are correct. Once you have the correct size, uh, canvas and resolution and all of that set up we're going to go ahead and just give us a nice even background to work with so for me i want to do a nice like even light bluish gray color um, something with not too much color but just a little bit there and i'm going to use the dump function and just color that blue and that's actually a little bit darker than i'd like so let's go back into the color spectrum here and choose a little bit more on the gray side. Okay, that's a little bit better. It looks good for me. Next, let's start a new layer and we're going to bring in the object that we'd like to work with, the object we'd like to turn into a 3D animated NFT. I'm going to be working with my Bitrush Crypto logo and turning it into a 3D coin as I do believe the coin is the easiest thing to make 3D. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, go ahead and drag your object over onto the screen. Once you have your object, do the best you can to just kind of center it in the screen. It'll just make things easier later if everything's centered up. The next thing we need to do is to select our object we're going to work with. So we're just gonna take the magic wand tool here or the um, quick selection tool, whichever one you'd like. I'm just gonna do magic wand to start and just magic wand the entire thing. And from here we can refine edge. Refining the edge is just gonna go ahead and tweak this a little bit. Again, guys, um, we want to just kind of shift the edge a little bit inside is what I usually like to do just to tighten that up. And the next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of smoothness just to kind of smooth that out. Come up to our 3D menu once you have your selection and we're gonna click on Repouse Current Selection or is that Repouse? I don't know how to say that word, but click on that Current Selection. This will bring up the 3D menu here. There are several things that you may not see right away if you don't have them selected and you are going to just need to turn on right here, 3D access, ground plane, light, and 3D selection. So you can see when I turn them off. Uh, we don't have anything, we just see our regular image. So go ahead and add that, the 3D access gives you access to the, the bar there. Um, the 3D ground plane, the 3D lighting, and 3D selection. Okay, so once you have that, you're good to go. The next thing we want to do is you're going to choose the different settings here. So there's a whole bunch of different um, you know, elements and things you can do with this. For ours, we're going to keep the simplest one, just the regular setting there. And we're going to turn this. So we're going to grab this. And 
and just turn to the left here so we can see a little bit of that side view. Okay, once we have the side view, we can see the depth and we can come down to our scale and reduce that depth a little bit because we want it to be a coin. So that's a little bit too deep for us for a coin. I'm thinking right about here to point two two does look good. If we want, I can continue to turn it and we can see how thick exactly that is. That looks really good to me. So bringing it back over to a nice angle we can see. We can mess with any of these settings if you guys want, but the main thing I'm looking to do here is the side. So the side is all gray. We need to add a different element. We have all these different chrome elements. We can see there is a gold colored one. Um, I'm not really a fan of that. Let's see. Um, let's get like this brass one. Yeah, that one looks good, I guess, the gold. So you guys can feel free to mess with that again and get it as um, in-depth and detailed as you want. Once we have that how you like it, we can come here and click on this, and there's all kinds of lighting settings and different things that you can do within this panel. So feel free to view another tutorial of that and go crazy with your lighting and shadowing. This is just a very basic tutorial video, but there is a lot of stuff in the Photoshop community and archives on how to do a lot of this um, 3D rendering and shadowing. And again, if you want more in-depth stuff, go ahead and download Blender, which is a free 3D rendering software where you can also make elements for video games and stuff really cool. And that will give you, um, you know, even more detailed um, capabilities. Now that we've our 3D rendered object, we can go ahead and mess with it a little bit with some of the settings. So let's double click in and we can add a stroke if we'd like to stroke the whole thing. We're not going to do that. We probably should have stroked the initial image before we made it 3D, but we can add a drop shadow to the entire thing and we could bevel and emboss if you wanted to just kind of add a little pop from the uh, background screen. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to leave the shadow. So I'm going to put that on and I'm going to just put the shadow from the very top. Um, and again, you can do more in-depth shadowing guys with the, the 3D rendering software. I'm just adding this as like a an extra element to kind of uh, make it pop from the background. Okay, so as we can see that background here just pops it off the background a little bit. And my um, details aren't super smooth, but for today's video, this is going to be good enough for what we're going to do. That's basically it in terms of making a 3D rendered object in Photoshop. So the next step is going to be animate this object. If you guys want, I do have a previous video on how to create animated NFTs where I go more in depth into the process of the animation and creating those animated GIFs. If you want, you can pause the video now and that video link should be popping up in the top right hand corner. It should also be linked in the description. I'm going to go through it fairly quickly here. And so you guys will get the basic GIFs, but again, more in depth uh, tutorial will be linked below. Essentially what we need to do now to animate is to create a slideshow, which means we need a different layer image for every single element of the slide. So we're going to do that with starting here at our starting one. Just go ahead and duplicate that layer. So duplicate layer. Okay. Now let's unclick our initial layer so we can no longer see that. We're gonna open that back up by clicking edit and repose. And from here we have access to our 3D menu again, and we're gonna be able to change this thing around however we want. So the first thing I want it to do is to spin all the way around. In hold of our red handle here, I'm gonna drag that just a tiny amount. Once we've gone the amount that we'd like for each slide, we can click OK. And from here, we can then open a new layer. So go ahead and duplicate layer. OK. And make the other one invisible now. Same process. We're going to go to 3D, Rep House, Edit and Rep House. 
and we're gonna slide it again even more. We're gonna do that process over and over again until we have the amount that we need for the slideshow. It's a little bit tedious here, so I'm not gonna show you the entire process. However, you guys get the gist. Once we have all the layers we like, we can come to the top and choose window. And we're looking for animation that adds an animation layer here. You can see all this below, but what we wanna do is even though we're in this um, 3D render environment, we want to just use the slideshow. So click this three little button in the down um, right hand corner of the animation panel. It switches us over to slides. Again, I go more detail into this in my other video, but essentially what we need to do is create a new slide for every single layer and only make that layer visible on the slide that is correct corresponding to that layer. If you're on the new version of the cloud, you can simply create the same number of slides that you have layers and copy and paste them over so it's a little bit easier there. Okay, once we have those set up to the proper slide for the right layer, we can hit play and check our animation. Looks good to me, however, obviously that's a little bit slow, so we're gonna go back now and adjust the speed to about half of that, 0.2, 0.2, and 0.2. Basically it for the animation. You guys can obviously go wild and add as many other features and animations to each one of these slides as you'd like. And once you're ready with that, we can come to the export option over on file save for web and device from here we're going to choose the gif option and you can set any of these settings however you'd like here and just kind of take a preview of it uh, we can do looping options loop once or what we want is loop forever. So make sure you set that and we can do a little test here by clicking the play button. So a little bit rough, but for our first animation um, of a spinning 3D animated coin, I think it's pretty good. I'm satisfied with it and I'm ready to save. Name the file what you like in the appropriate spot and we're just going to do coin spin and save and that's everything you need to create that 3d animated file if you would like i have several other videos of advanced tutorials on how to upload your files and turn them into an nft on rarible you can go ahead and find a link to one of those videos in the top right hand corner above now and in the description and if you want i'll go through a quick tutorial in this video also so stick around we're almost done come on over to rarible.com and log in and from here we can create a new token I'm gonna do a single edition coin for this one. If you did want multiples, just choose multiple. We can choose our file. Or it's called rush spin and upload that file. We can see it here. It's a little bit offset, but it's good enough for me, like I said, for today's um, video, and we're only going to mint one of these. So if you want this thing, it's going to be one of a kind, limited edition. Um, you can find it for sale on Rarible, and I'll make sure I leave the link for that in the description as well. Put on sale. If we want an instant price, we can set the price. Otherwise, we can bid for it. I'm going to do an instant sale price, and I'm going to go ahead and just do um, 0.333 ETH. So anybody who wants to pick that thing up, go ahead. And the other option that we do have is if we want, we can create an unlockable purchase, which would unlock some kind of special access or something like that. We're not going to do that today, so I'm just going to unclick that option. Set a name and a description for your token. And we can also set any royalties amount we want. Obviously, we'll get 100% of the first sale other than the fee for Rarible. And then after that, we'll get the amount of the royalties based on each resale. I always like to set mine a little bit higher to um, incentivize people to hold these. Next, we can set any kind of properties we'd like. 
and when everything looks good if you see everything here does match up with what you'd like just double triple check everything is once you pay the fee that's it i have had to occasionally go back and burn um nfts that i made a mistake on and repay the gas fee to remint them so it's definitely not fun guys to double check all your things and once you're ready create item you're gonna have to do two different um, transactions here one to sign the uh, minting and then the second to sign the sell order so just make sure you have enough eth in your wallet and it looks like i do not i'm gonna have to reject that and put a little bit of eth in there before we complete this transaction Go ahead and confirm that and wait for the process to be complete. Next, we're gonna sign the sell order, click start on that. And again, we have to click sign and that's basically it. We're gonna just wait for that transaction to complete on the Ethereum network and that NFT newly minted should appear in our wallet in just a moment. All right, that transaction has been completed and we can now find our newly minted token here, Infinite Spins in our wallet. And I just gave it a little like here. And if we click into it, we can see all of those details. We have the info, um, the owner, and we have the collection. We have the owners here. Obviously there's only one of one. We have the history of that item. It was minted by me and it was put on sale by me. Then we have the details. And here we have our YT channel, Bitrush Crypto and Rarity Bullhorns and any bids that we may have gotten. So that's basically it for today, guys. I hope you did learn something and figure out how to 3D animate um, objects, how to 3D render objects, and then animate those objects within Photoshop. And again, guys, if you do want more in-depth um, things and features, go ahead and download Blender or find more tutorials on Photoshop or Blender on their channels and their websites. But I did give you the very basics here that hopefully should get you guys started and get you into 3D rendering and animated NFTs. Hope you did enjoy it. Please do smash the thumbs up, share it with a friend or family member or anyone else who may enjoy this content. If you want more exclusive access and guides like this, go ahead and sign up for the members only. It's only 99 cents per month. Um, sign up for all my social media and find the free Telegram chat group link below. Other than that, happy crypto. Let's get that coin.